Let's proceed along this path where we saw the uh, the warning sign. Yeah, it's good they got those signs there. It's cool. I, I like that there's like level 80s and, you know, areas that you probably shouldn't go to. Like, you gotta keep your eyes open. Sort of mixed in there, rather than everything just scaled to you. The heck is this? Does this go up or down? I imagine it goes down. Interesting. Shadow Silk. Oh, I wonder if that's a quick way. Quick way to get down to, uh. Beneath the earth. Alright, I don't see the. This doesn't look too welcoming. So I'll leave this alone. Although I do see a quest over there, but. Let's continue exploring this way first. It's kind of like that Le uh, that area in Legion now, isn't it? Stormheim. Reminds me of a bit of Stormheim now. Oh, we're making our way to a place forgotten. Quite the view. Crystallized. This guy's got... He's got plants growing on him. Dark Hazard. Level 80s. I'll just be backing it up. <laughs> Leave it level 80 here. There's a lot of level 80s here. Alright, alright. I get it, I get it. I shouldn't be here. Getting attacked by a wild Ramelith. Make our way back down. And I'll take this path. Birdman of the Three Shields. Explore the Isle of Dor- Oh, there we go, we did it! A quest over here. Harmut. Oh, Harmut again. How'd you get here? Tell me what drives you. Birdman of the Three Shields. Well, hey, it's you again, Seen. Shame I don't have any elementals for you to get in shape. But I do have another favor to ask of you, if you're up for it. A friend of mine, Olbarig, lives out at the Three Shields. He studies the wild cloud rocks there, and he and I talk about them from time to time. But I haven't heard from him in a long time. Would you check on him for me? May your choices return you here. Give Obarig my best when you see him. All right, buddy. Good 
communication in... Ah, uh, sorry. Hello. More quests? Ranan Koran? If what the merchant said checks out, landing here might be the best thing that ever happened to us. Landed? We crashed and almost drowned. You call that the best thing? We're still gonna find something shiny, right? Hmm? Oh, yes! <laughs> Hello! Hello. Join us on Dalaran, they said. It will be great, they said. Good thing I can swim. Tubes almost drown me trying to carry him to safe land. He lets his tubes. Tuberos, okay. Just dig through the water. Oh well, we lived. I feel bad for everyone who is stranded here now, but the least we can do is make the best of it. A Titanic expedition. Bye. Our merchant friend told us about some small islands off the northeast coast called the Three Shields. Apparently there was a lot of Titan activity there a long time ago. To me, the activity sounded like Titan research and development. Exciting stuff. Tuberos and I are going there to check it out. Theresa, my new Algari expedition trainee, is coming along to see true professionals at work. You care to join us? All right. See you later. I hope these shinies are worth something. Really, Tubes? Not in front of Theresa. I thought we talked about this. Talked about what? Oh, nice smelling you. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur of shiny things. Aren't we all? Let's work something out. What? What was that? Sound like I stepped on his foot or something. Let's work something out. Ugh. Hey there. Violet Warden. Oh. The kind people of this town have given us sanctuary here. The least we could do is protect them from the dangers we brought with us. The Spire Breaker. See you around. We are no strangers to Nerubian attacks. The Kirintor is well equipped to handle such a threat. Dalaran was equipped. I cannot fend all of this town's foes, but you might be able to. I spotted an ambush near the road on the way here. An all too familiar tactic of an all too familiar foe. Go spring the trap. Slay the monster that lurks below. Safe travels. See you later. The Mage Slayer? I confess I have come here with reason. There is one entity that may be out there still that cannot be allowed its freedom. A prisoner from the Violet Hold that we begrudgingly know as the Mage Slayer. I had come to request aid from these people, but they are farmers and ranchers. I hope you are better equipped for a challenge. Seek out this fiend and put an end to its existence. Have a good one. Can do. Alright, so we've got a few couple of quests here. There's one more over there. What path brought you here? From the rancher? Take a look around this beautiful town. What do you see? Ranches and their moss walls? But where is this rancher flock? In the guts of a beach they are. Stormscar, they call him. Stormscar, whose howl is as the thunder. Whose bite is lightning. Whose belly is full of my life's work. I came here to buy weapons and all we have is ranching equipment. You look strong. Would you put an end to Stormscar's reign in our pastures? Follow no directives but your own. Yes, all right. And your directive too. Come see the new items I have made. Got a 490 Earthmender signal. Okay, so we're starting to get some stuff closer to our item level. All right, so there's a Mage Slayer over here. Three hundred eighty yards away. Is that going to open? Oh, it just fades out. Slay you? 
with friend from a with with help from a fellow demon hunter even though i'm not a demon hunter on this guy but i am playing a demon hunter in my world of warcraft legion playthrough which i will probably return to at some point soon after i make a bit of progress in war within So I do do a fair few playthroughs. Recently we went through Dragonflight, but I have gone through Battle for Azeroth as well as Shadowlands, much the same way you see me playing this. And on the channel, we're going through uh, World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria, Legion, playing through the base game as well. Slain, playing through the base game, that's Old World Azeroth, so all of Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor, one on the Alliance side represented by a human paladin Artraxius, and one on the Horde side by the Orc Shaman Rorzok. So plenty of stuff to watch if you like watching in this style, if you like more um, just sort of gameplay I guess focused. Not as much with a focus on story. Uh, I do have a series called Leveling Series. So if you look through my channel, you'll see a couple. There's a couple series now, a couple playlists, which are purely leveling. And I do them from time to time. I do enjoy those as well. I like, I like just going around beating the crap out of things and learning how to use a new class from time to time. So I do a bit of both. Communication in... Ah, uh, sorry. Thank you, adventurer. Hello. My role in this world is to be a rancher. Yours is to slay wolves. We all have our places. May your choices return you here. Know your place, slayer of wolves. Thank goodness, with your raid, we may be able to make a difference this time. These people deserve safety. Safe travels. Dalaran may be in ruins, but the Kirintor does not grant you release, Mage Slayer. Thank you for your assistance, Seen. Are you sure you defeated all of it? I, I hope so. Have a good one. I hope so. Pretty sure I defeated all of it. They always come back to though, don't they? Is there not a chest over here? Bah! <laughs> Alright. Where are you off to? I'm, I'm meant to get you to go this way, aren't I? Oh! Where do you go? What? I was further down. Alright. The ramble here. Let's get you going that way. <laughs> Go on, buddy. All the way back. Back to your friends. Oh, there's a soccer ball over here. Oh, and there's some, ah, a flower for us. Some rep. Teaches you how to summon and dismiss this little Miss Rosie. Oh, we got our own little one. And it's got roses all over it. Nice. Can I kick this ball? <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Thought it was going to be like, uh, there was a ball in Destiny that you could just boot all over the place. 
They got little ones. They got the big one. All right. Anyway, that's for them to play with, not me. So Titanic Expedition is over here. Back where we saw all those Nerubians. Actually, much further away. Much further away over here. I've been wounded. The Gorlock claw is venomous. You tripped and hit your head. The Gorlock didn't even touch you. Yeah, Theresa and I took out the Gorlock. Well, I distracted it. Shh. You're making me look bad in front of scene. <sighs> fine day for some tinkering. All right, I'm fine. It's just a scratch. But it took the three of us to bring down our little Gorlock. So it's good you decided to join us. What? This little thing? It's got big teeth, though. Oh, you need a guide? The island is dangerous, but I can smell the shinies. Boss calls them Titan artifacts, but they fetch a high price. So I still call them shinies. Not the only smell around here. It stinks of those Gorlocks. They smell wet, humid, and a bit like dead fish. But like the boss says, we're here to find shinies. Uh, Titan artifacts, and we gotta do what we gotta do. Cataloging. Oh, smell you again soon. As you know, we are here to collect some Titan shinies, artifacts, whatever. And Ranan thinks the more the shinies, uh, you know what I mean. The better chance we have figuring out something about the Titans. That'll make Ranan happy. But it'll also ensure I have some extra, extras to take to my store back home. My wife, Paris Simona is waiting for him back in Loam. I can't go back empty-handed. Be safe now. I know I'm new to expeditioning, but there is probably a reason why this place was abandoned, right? Don't worry, if there were something fishy around here, I'd smell it. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Tubes and I are professionals. Oh, um, didn't see you standing there. Just so you know, my expedition this time is officially sanctioned. I got my own expedition. Can you believe it? I guess my rogue spelunking in Zaralek cavern was a risk worth taking. I got promoted, and I met the new dragon aspect. Okay, okay, crashing was a setback, and yes, all my gadgets are at the bottom of the ocean, and the Gorlocks are probably going to find them, but... Think how many discoveries in this Titan test site playground are just waiting to be dug out by professionals like us. Not a heating pack. All right, see you later. Theresa has done some reconnaissance for us and found the Gorlocks are digging up artifacts and cuddling with them. I think it means that the artifacts emit heat. Maybe that means some artifacts are still functioning. Imagine, the Titans created technology to shape worlds and now a fish uses it to warm their fins. Ha! <laughs> The Gorlocks won't give them up, and I don't want to be a Ranan kebab either. I hate to ask you, because they would just want to be warm, but could you do something about them? Bye! The dark times will pass. On the way here, Tuberus told me about his adventures with Ranan. Some of it sounds made up. He said that Ranan is a famous gadgeteer, but he lost all of his gadgets in the crash. Yeah, okay, likely story. Ranan sensed I thought Tuberus was lying and started telling me about how he used to be a mage in training. He claimed the headmasters let me go because he was just too good. Right. Who assigned me to this guy and question why... why is the Niffin here? Remember the Sunwell. I'll remember it. Don't forget it, folks. Always remember the Sunwell. Never forget.
Titan artifact. Dead Gorlocks everywhere. This orb-shaped Titan artifact is cold to the touch and heavier than it looks. Got a Titan console here. I was going to heroic leap, but I didn't want to hurt this thing. This Titan console is worn by the elements. The arm of a watcher still clutches its dial. Although it reacts to your touch, it is no longer functional. Upon a closer inspection, you discover this console is dedicated to the protocol of deactivation. But it is unclear what that means. I see you. What do you what do you reckon that means? Deactivation of destroying this entire planet? Purging Azeroth? Deactivating that protocol. That's all the Titan artifacts that we need to catalogue. I just gotta get rid of some more Gorlocks. Although it seems a little nasty. Coming up here to their village. Beating the crap out of them. Stealing their shinies. <laughs> Something... Something's not quite right here. But how is it any different to what we've been doing all these decades? Maybe we're the enemy. Maybe we're the bad guys. All right, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back. Hmm? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wonderful. Now we can focus our attention on what really matters, the artifacts. I wonder what we would discover. But I have so much science to tell you about. Ooh, happy scent trails. You get some good shinies yet? Be safe now. Tuberus looks at the art, Titan artifacts. This one smells very acidic, and it's broken. I can take it to the store. Rannan would like to see that one. Oh yeah, these are great. Oh, thank you for bringing them to me. Oh, smell you again soon. Some strand. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Delegate the hard stuff to someone else, take the artifacts, catalog them, and then profit. Shirelaron. Shirelaron. Because it's shiny. Well, these two, while these two were ordering you around, I thought I would do something useful and make sure that Gorlocks were not going to surprise us here on the beach. None of them seemed interested in us, but then I saw one huge Gorlock. It killed off some smaller Gorlocks, then took off. It had something glowing in its claw, though. It had to be an artifact, and it looked like it was working. We've got to get it back. 
And by we, I mean you, larger than average Gorlocks are above my dragon scale pay grade. Be ready for anything. Hmm. Big fella. This orb-like artifact is warm to the touch. It vibrates slightly and emits a buzzing sound. What other shinies have you got? No shinies? The eternal sun guides us. The reckoning is at hand. Were you able to get the artifact? Salama, a shallow. I can hear it humming from here. Ow. Oh, it irritates my ears. Let's see if our two professionals, Ran and Tuberus, know what this artifact is. We will have justice. Now that's a shiny. Oh wow. I think this one still works. Okay, but what does it do? <sighs> Fine day for some tinkering, don't you think? The razor is doing a great job so far. I guess I'm not so bad at this mentoring thing. I just keep thinking what would Lathos have done, and then I'm sad. But my inner Lathos has never steered me wrong. Bye! It's probably nothing. You found a buzz orb? Uh, that's what the Niffin call it. I just kind of went with it. It's still in good condition, still buzzing, humming, and warm to the touch. I haven't even seen one here since we, uh, since we were in Zaralek Cavern. Seen. You should see if we can get it to work. I will stand back here just in case it is um, not friendly. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. All right, see you later. You find a groove on the orb that has three buttons. The condition of the middle and right buttons suggest that they have been used more than the left button. The button hum. The buttons hum up and light. Hum and light up when your hand nears them. Alright, so we'll go for the middle button, I guess. It's moving! You press the button, the orb starts to hum louder, the runes on its surface glow brighter. Press the left button and then the right button. Professionals, huh? Shh, patience! Alright, so middle. And then left, then right. Uh, right, then... Left, then right. Right button, then left. It's alive! It's alive! I'm a rich Niffin! Oh, it's flying! They fly now! Oh, great. Scanning life forms. Uh, what is it doing? Danger. Unidentified life form. Scanning for active defense grid. Alpha site uplink acquired. Uh oh. An active defense grid? What does that mean? Oh, um. Didn't see you standing there. Alpha Sight? Defense Grid? Oh, I don't like the sign of that. We should get going. I don't want to be here if its friends come back with it. That's not a reunion party I want to be a part of. Hopefully it won't hone in on Theresa. Uh, nah, probably not. Anyway, we should get going. Like, now. Catch you later, scene. Thank you for your, um, help, I guess. But I have so much science to tell you about. Hey, if I am risking my life adventuring with you two, I want a share of Tuberus's profits. Smart lady, I'll give you 20%. Now, come on, I smell more shinies this away. Deal. Wait, what? No, 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 They're, we're not pirates, we're researchers that are wait. Tubes, I thought you couldn't swim. Niffin can swim like fish, it's just like digging. 